Hello friends, uh, welcome to Academy of Financial Training and I am uh, Professor Ankit Sangvi. I will be training you for the FRM program. This is called Financial Risk Manager program conducted by uh, Global Association of Risk Professional GARP. Now basically this FRM program is uh, actually divided into two parts, FRM part 1 and FRM part 2. Now in FRM part 1 if I talk off, there are basically four areas which, which are uh, tested. Uh, number one is uh, foundation of risk management uh, which, con which, which is consisting of 20% of your FRM part 1 exam weightage. Uh, the second uh, uh, topic of FRM part 1 is quantitative analysis wherein you do all sort of quantitative analysis, statistics, hypothesis and everything. Again, that particular portion covers 20% weightage of your FRM part 1 exam. The third particular topic of FRM part 1 is uh, what we call is financial markets and products, which is the foundation, which is the cornerstone of this particular program. Because uh, if you understand financial markets and products, then and then only you can think of the risk which are going to get arise uh, from it and uh, you should be well equipped to manage that particular risk which would arise from a different source after after having the FRM certification with you. Again, uh, this particular uh, topic covers 30% weightage in your FRM part 1 exam. And the fourth topic of your FRM exam is valuation and risk models, which is more of uh, contemporary uh, things in the risk management area. Uh, but nevertheless, it is not that difficult uh, to understand and again that particular part covers 30 percentage of weightage of your FRM part 1 program. So it is 20, 20, 30, 30 in a way 100 percent is covered. The exam format again it is divided, uh, it would be 100 multiple choice question, each question having 4 options and of course there is no negative marking so there is no penalty for, mar for guessing your answers. As far as uh, FRM program is concerned, it is uh, FRM part 1 as well as FRM part 2 is conducted twice a year, each year in uh, two months, November and May. In FRM part 2, we, we get into details of the uh, different risk. Broadly speaking, FRM part 2 consists of market risk, credit risk, operational risk and contemporary issues in the uh, financial risk management. Now, as you have uh, understood that what are you going to learn from this particular program, uh, you should be able to understand that what is the need of this particular program which is dedicated to risk management typically in the finance area. See, when we talk of risk management, we generally talk of two eras, pre-2008 and or rather we can say pre-lemon crisis and post-lemon crisis that is post-2008. Risk management as a function has got huge importance post-2008 in any organization because what banks were doing, what the financial institutions were doing before 2008 has demanded a serious understanding of risk factors which are going to be created because of you are your trading activities, you are developing newer products, you are selling products which, which perhaps are not being understood by your clients and what kind of risk it may lead to and you know then it would have got cascade, it would have got uh, effects which are so far reaching that you know it can impact the entire globe. So post 2008 risk management has become an integral part of any financial institution and we can rightly say that uh, the demand for risk managers has gone up manifold post-2008 so as the demand for FRMs, of course they are dedicated to risk management area. Now who employs FRM? Typically the first, the, the first category of your employer is banks which are having high priority for risk management. Second institution which requires risk manager is any sort of financial institution wherein you are trading derivatives or you are trading another kind of financial products. Of course, th there are many companies which are into developing risk management tools, basically softwares 
and and the processes for risk management are also employing frm so you know it companies are perhaps the uh, the next big uh, employer for frm of course the demand is rising so as uh, the format the process and the content of the exam is also evolving so i wish my all the best for all of the candidates who are planning or who are thinking for enrolling themselves into frm program i wish my best luck and look forward to have you on the next session thank you